Today I'm going to show you the cute little Brindleton Bay pumpkin patch that I've built. It is completely custom content free and it's on the gallery for you right now. Right now the lot type is just listed as generic, but it can also be used as a retail lot if you wanted to open up a pumpkin patch business. I've loaded up the lot with my sim self so that we can see the pumpkin patch in live mode. So here she is in all her glory. This is my cute little pumpkin patch that I worked on through like two sleepless nights and a couple random hours during the day that I actually had some free time. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. As a community lot, I added as much detail as I could. I feel like when I make community lots, usually I kind of skimp out on the details, but yeah, I try to add like as much as possible in here. And I had so much fun putting it together. This pumpkin patch is in Brindleton Bay in this little town square center. I feel like it fits in this world and in this lot perfectly. Like looking at the view around it, it's just, Perfect. So here we have our large main entrance. We've got stacked up hay bales and pumpkins all around with our little welcome sign. To the right of the entrance, we have our pumpkin patch shop. I'm not going to show you that yet. I'll show you that towards the end. We're gonna go around the whole lot and then I'll end with this. But this is the entrance to our shop. We've got our little bike with pumpkins in the basket, more hay bales stacked up. We've got a photo op on a hay bale next to a first place prize pumpkin. So the idea for this was that you can have your Sims sit either just sitting on the hay bale or with the pose player. If you're a storyteller, this is like a perfect little family photo opportunity. Like, look at that, isn't that perfect? Like she's actually just smiling naturally, but yeah, perfect little picture spot next to this gigantic pumpkin. Moving on over here, we've got our little red truck with more hay bales and pumpkins falling down the stack and another photo op right here on the hay bale. So this works with one single sim, or again, if you wanted to use pose player with like your family of sims, you can set them all around here. That was kind of the intention. I live in the US and the pumpkin patches that I've always gone to usually have like some truck photo op or just, you know, the stacks of hay bales. Just there's always photo ops everywhere for people. So that was kind of the intention with this area and then this area over here. Also, I just feel like what's a pumpkin patch without a truck and a whole bunch of hay bales and pumpkins. It kind of just like makes the whole thing, you know? Continuing on this way, we've got our fall comforts food stall. I just had to hire a vendor, so it's the only downside is if you want somebody here, you're going to have to hire them. But at this food stall, you can order fall drinks or fall themed food. Across from the food stall, there are some picnic tables and a little fire pit for friends and family to hang out around. And then this is my favorite part of the pumpkin patch that I put together. This is the live entertainment stage. So on the stage, there's some lanterns, some flowers, hay bales, pumpkins, a microphone stand, and a guitar. So your sim can entertain or you can hire someone to do so, but I should probably turn the guitar around so that they're not always facing backwards. But yeah, so there's the stage, the fire pit, the food stall, picnic tables to sit at, then over here to the left, we have a pumpkin patch. The pumpkins are currently growing. I have the UI cheats extension, but unfortunately I can't set the stage of growth for the pumpkins. So they're just gonna have to grow in their own time. But then moving over here to the right, we have a little apple orchard and I placed some apples on the ground and at the bottom of these buckets, just for a little extra detail to make it look like Sims were apple picking. Like I mentioned in the beginning, I was trying to add as much detail as possible. I just circled and circled and circled the slot until I felt like every section was detailed enough with the packs that I have. With what I had to work with, this is what we've got, but I still feel like it's pretty cluttered and detailed. It looks realistic to me. Then moving over into the barn, we have a horseshoe pit, two pumpkin carving stations, and more hay bales for Sims to sit on. So this is another little hangout space if the Sims don't want to be outside. Next, we have our two public restrooms for all Sims. They're both exactly the same, toilet, sink, changing table if you wanted to bring your infant or toddler sim, and both are finished off with some little decor here. And finally, we have our little pumpkin patch shop. So in all of the pumpkin patches and apple orchards and cider mills that I've been to, there's usually a cute little general store. So that's what I tried to make here. And this is the section of the build that can double as a retail lot if you wanted to do that, or it can just be for fun if you wanted to keep this generic. But there is a cash register and the items intended for sale are these pumpkins, the things on the shelf, and then the things over here in the barrels. We've got nectar, little mini pumpkins, apples, some gardening seeds. I just added these vases for fun, just for something else to fill up the shelf with. This is our little register nook back here. There's a thermostat, lots of decorations, another bucket of mini pumpkins, and some tables and chairs in case the Sims want to come inside and sit if it's cold outside or whatever. 
I also made this little gallery wall inside using things from the game, but also from the gallery. And on the gallery, this is the creator of the artwork that's used. So this is my little pumpkin patch. I hope you guys like it. I'm super excited to share it with you. I'm very proud of it. I've been starting to play around with like custom content free builds more. I feel like it's a little bit more fun because I know that people are going to easily be able to play with them too. I know people can play with my builds that do have custom content, but it's a lot harder to do so. Whereas this is just like available for everyone. You don't have to really make any extra effort. So there are a couple of random things about the slot that I feel like are important. The first thing is that I use Toolmod to place like 90% of the items in this pumpkin patch. So if you use the slot, just be careful if you decide to move anything because I'm pretty sure if you click something that's been altered with Toolmod, it's just going to reset. So if you don't have Toolmod or don't feel like using it, just be careful if you move anything around. Pretty much like all the pumpkins and like all the little apples in this barrel, everything that's stacked up here, it was all placed with tool mod. Okay, moving on to the next very important point. These pumpkins are all going to spoil. So if I were you, I would not place the slot until fall when you're ready to use it because otherwise your Sims are gonna come into a lot that is just full of spoiled pumpkins. Of course, do what you wanna do, but that's just my advice. And then the third thing that's kind of important, you definitely need cottage living and horse ranch to use the slot. I mean, you probably wanna have all of these just to complete the piece, but Cottage Living and Horse Ranch are where all the pumpkins and hay bales came from, and the truck, and the entry sign. Just a lot of main details were placed using those packs. Those are just the main few things that I wanted to let you know about before you go and play with the slot. Just a couple disclaimers and tips. So as of right now in this moment that I'm recording this, this is not on the gallery yet, but as usual by the time I post this video, it'll be up. I like to post my builds and my videos at the exact same time. So yeah, if you're watching this, go download the pumpkin patch. Let me know what you think of it. Also, if you guys ever play with my lots, please feel free to tag me. If you're like someone who plays in lots and posts on Instagram or TikTok about it, tag me. If you're a storyteller, tag me. Like tag me in all the things. I wanna see everything. But yeah, I think that's all for now. I just wanted to make a quick video to show you guys this build. Also look out for more videos like this. I think I'm going to start like a show and tell playlist on my channel because I like doing this. I like building little things that I can share with you guys and then doing a show and tell. If you've been watching my videos from the very beginning, you know that this is just like a thing that I do. Like I love to talk about my builds. So I figured why not make a little playlist out of it. But yeah, as always, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my pumpkin patch. Let me know if you've built a pumpkin patch or if anyone else has built a really cool lot that you want to share. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more content like this from me every week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.